YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy Stichito coming at you guys with another Exos Heroes video today. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to uh, level up your characters, all this, you know, all the tricks you need and all the tips you need to level up your characters efficiently and um, quickly. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you guys are enjoying the Exos Heroes uh, content, let me know by hitting that like button down below um yeah i'm gonna be you know making videos on this game for this whole week so uh don't worry we're still gonna have the normal content but you know i'm gonna try to push this game because i've been playing this game a lot as you guys can tell i'm level 27 i've been playing this game a lot equally as much as grand cross and black clover and all these other games i play so let's get it all right so first off and foremost let's go to we're gonna go to our airship here and then we're gonna go to manage heroes I'm pretty sure the tutorial tells you this, but they don't really, they kind of gloss over it, right? So, you guys are going to run into an issue, um, probably around chapter 2 or 3 for, for beginners, um, where you're going to be like, okay, like for example, I have my Xeon maxed out, I have my Liffy maxed out, well she's not maxed out by the way, uh, but I have a max level, what do I, what do I do, how do I level them up? right and as you can see there we have this bless feature but it's locked right it's locked uh and if you guys click that thing you would say that it's only available for you to reach the maximum level and the maximum number of enhancements right so what does that even mean like what 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 does what does all that mean what that means is we're gonna go well there's a unit right here that i want to actually uh i want a five star I want to take her to five stars, right? This will take Xenon to four stars, for example. But you know, this unit here is literally carried me through the story. Uh, she's actually a really good single target damage dealer. Um, yeah, she's she's really good. So, what do I do, right? So the thing is, let's, let's talk about transcending, for example. So the first thing you do, you gotta give them the max level, right? That's where you go to enhance, right? So uh, not that. Oh, let me go to someone. Level up, right? Let's go to level up. And these scrolls here are how you level people up and stuff. If the scroll matches the element typing, like if their element matches the scroll element, they get more EXP versus if they get something else. So this one gives 200, 600 more EXP per, uh, per scroll for a machine unit than any other unit. So you see this one's a frost scroll, only gives 2000 EXP. You can get these scrolls from the EXP dungeon, um, doing uh, daily missions, exploring, um, completing dungeons, all that stuff. You get it from anything. You can also craft scrolls for EX experience. You also get experience by playing levels, um, playing levels, beating levels, um, doing random battles, exploring. You get levels just, you, you, you level up on practically anything in the game, um, which is really, really good. So that's the first thing you gotta do. You gotta level them up to max. And once you get to the max, you gotta transcend them, right? Well, not transcend them, excuse me. You gotta enhance them. You use these spirits here. Spirits here, we have spirit dungeons we get daily. Um, it changes by, you know, changes by the day what spirit dungeon we get. But for this one, we got our boy uh, Zeon here, because, you know, everybody's gonna be rocking him because he's the starter hero. And here's the thing, right? I don't have any, like, well, I do have some fire spirits here, right? But this fire spirit puts them at, like, 55% two-star. See, if their star level matches the, uh, if the star level matches the unit, then it'll become 100%. For example, this rainbow one works for everyone. It's 100% because he's a three-star, and I'm trying to enhance a three-star, right? If I add a two-star rainbow one here, it's 55%. If I use any other one, it's, oh, well, I didn't even know that, but... I thought, um, as long as they match the start level, but I think matching them with the element, um, helps with chances. So let's say, like, I will have a fire one for three stars, but I'm not going to use it. Uh, let's say, like, this one, this one, this, the red one, the fire one will probably have a higher chance of actually succeeding. Uh, but we could also use just normal three stars, fire three, fire three stars to uh, enhance him. So we're gonna enhance him here. Um, you can notice that my Xeon's level 47. That means he's transcended. That means I have dupes of him, 
dupes of a unit gives you more levels. So that's all transcending is. So we enhanced them, right? So we got the enhanced one. So you can en enhance the unit up to five. Um, as far as I know, um, let's actually enhance him. Let's look, you know, first for science, right? Let's actually enhance um, our boy to uh, the maximum level I can. So we're gonna do that. Uh, what else we're gonna do? Just actually not like you. Just things I have so many copies of are gonna go away. Um, like this guy. I have a lot of that guy. So we're gonna enhance here. Skip this, and we go up to five. Now that we're up to five, he is now ready to be blessed. When you bless a unit, you gotta have these uh, crafting materials. How do you get these materials? So for three stars, their passives are locked, right? So if you do this, uh, so if we give them the max level, and then we uh, enhance them to plus five, we go to bless hero here, and we can actually awaken them to the next star level, which is four, uh, for Xeon's case. So for you get these materials here from farming... Um, God, the bless the blessing sanctum and exploration. So that's a really cool thing. If you just hold down the material, they tell you where you can get it from. But you know, blessing sanctum, we, we again we get daily tickets. Um, we get like three tickets daily for that. Um, and then each day is a different uh, element, and you also get them from exploration. Like exploration is so important. But we're not gonna bless him today. No, 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 no. I wanna bless her. And I also transcender another because I actually pulled. If you guys, if you guys notice that my uh, X's are uh, lower than the last time you saw my video, is because I did one random multi earlier today, and I was like, you know what, I really want Magi, and if I, I was like, let me just do one summon, and then I actually pulled two faded units in one multi, so it was kind of sick. I wish I was recording. But yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna bless her. Here's the thing. So I don't know if they actually reset to level one when they're five star. They do not. They just okay. So they stay where they are. Uh, they just transcend it and a whole lot better. So we got a new five star here. Uh, don't really have much scrolls because I was <laughs> maxing out a lot of units. Um, not maxing out, but you know, getting levels for units. So I'm just gonna. Well, that is nothing. So we're just not even gonna not even gonna level her up. But yeah, now she is a lot stronger here, and she also gain levels again. Now that she's maxed, um, yeah, she's really good. And I can also transcend her. Transcending again is dupes. I would dupe of her. I can increase her level even more to 79 if I wanted to. Um, but I'm going to keep the dupes for now. Uh, I, I transcended her once just to get some more um, combat power to, like, battle power, excuse me. So more battle power to beat the stages. So, yeah, I got the Moggy, by the way. I just want to show this off. Moggy's really, really good. Like I said before, if you guys are managing to pull a Dragon Blood unit, they will just help you through the story easily. Like, Magi was not the reason. I, like, Magi helped in certain stages, like, very, like, so much. Um, and I also got this guy. This guy's actually really good. I think he's underrated. Uh, I think he's really, really strong. Um, but yeah, got Magi. You know, Baraka is here being Baraka. And yeah, so now that we have, you know, different level up units, um, and then just show you guys how you can level your units, uh, enhance them, and also tr um, bless them to the next star level. Uh, so let's go check out the dungeons, right? Because, you know, that's where you get everything from. So if you guys don't know how to get to these dungeons, um, we're going to go to the world. They're going to be in your world. Uh, you're going to go to challenges here. Click challenges. And so you got experience sanctum here, spirit sanctum, spirit sanctum is where we get the spirits for enhancements. Uh, scroll down. I still gotta, you know, still gotta do some of these. The reason I haven't done them because I was grinding story mode to get higher levels unlocked. Um, so that's why I think you got the blessing sanctum here. This is where we get the materials to bless your units to actually awaken them. Uh, so we got the blessings here. And I even gotta shout out the gold mine because you need gold. It takes a lot of gold to do all this stuff. So, you know, save up your gold, guys. You're going to need it. Just save it up. Don't just spend it on anything 
or leveling up uh, units you're not going to use later. Uh, yeah, so those are the dungeons and how you get them. And yeah, that's just a little quick guide um, for those of you guys who are struggling early game um, and need some help. I'm also going to be, uh, the next video you're going to see, it's going to come out tomorrow, is I'm going to be breaking down how to beat some of the harder stages uh, in the like story mode. And then what I did uh, by using like the same team, I, I literally use the same team, or like I can switch out like because you know my units are a lot stronger now. Like Baraka, for example, I had Baraka during these times, but now he's like 62, so he's a lot stronger than he was when he was back at being 45, struggling to beat this level. But I will show you guys the alternatives, um, show you guys like how I beat them, and uh, yeah, just my personal opinion um, on how to beat them. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for supporting the Exos Heroes videos. Uh, I'm going to have another video today. It's going to be a Black Clover video. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, your boy C. Cheeto signing out. Peace. Catch you all in the next video.